Praise the Lord, everyone. We thank God for being here in the house of the Lord on today. Thank God for another opportunity to come together, amen, to praise and worship our God, amen. Today is the first Sunday. We celebrate Holy Communion, amen. We have passed out the elements here in the house of the Lord, amen. And I ask you to peel back those uh, that have the elements at home. We thank God for you that are home, members of the New Beginnings Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are so grateful for this day, amen. We had a beautiful Sunday school lesson. Amen. Now we're getting ready to go into our Holy Communion. Then after that, we're going to have the Word of God come forth. Amen. 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, beginning at verse 23. It says, For I have received the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Just do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a person examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. But if we will judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this time of Holy Communion. Grace God, your blessing upon it, O Lord. Change it from a natural to a spiritual, Lord. Help us, O oh God, to appreciate all that you have done for us, O oh Lord. Yes. Open up our eyes that we may see. Open up our ears that we may hear more and more of your goodness in our lives, O oh Lord. True, you have been merciful, God, and I thank you, Lord. And as Jesus told the disciples to do this and remember to me. The Bible says, by one man, Adam, all died. By one man, Jesus Christ, all live. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. So we commemorate, amen, the, the life of our Lord and death of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. By first partaking of the bread that Jesus gave to the disciples, he broke it and shared it among them. And we partake of it to represent the Lord's body. Now, Lord, and of the grape juice to represent his blood. The Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin or removal of sin. But because of his blood, only blood, not of bulls, goats, and sheep in the Old Testament, but the blood of Jesus redeems all of these particulars. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord. Amen. We thank God for that. Now as we get ready to go into the Word of God, make sure you turn with us to 1 Corinthians. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse 21. And Deuteronomy. Let's see, Deuteronomy, we want to go to chapter 21, verse 22. Verse 22 and 23. Just a few verses here today. I'm going to say it again. Deuteronomy, the 21st chapter, verse 22 and 23. And also, 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, verse 21. If you have your Bibles, smart phones, and draw with us, please follow along with us. Deuteronomy, chapter 21, beginning at verse 22. If a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is a curse of God, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy God give thee for an inheritance. 2 Corinthians 5th chapter, verse 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Let me use a thought on today. What more 
can he do? Amen. What more can he do? Father, we thank you for this time to go into your word. We ask you to bless your word as we, as we break the bread of life today, Lord. I bind up the hand of the enemy and anything that will try to hinder this word today, Lord. Oh, bless your word today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, touch someone's heart right now, Lord. Truly, it's time, hallelujah, to live for the Lord. It's time, hallelujah, to say yes, Lord, to your will and to your way. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen and amen. 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 Yes, this is Resurrection Sunday. We're talking about the resurrection of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. But as I say many times, you can't have resurrection without crucifixion. Amen. Something had to die. Jesus died for the sins of the world. Matthew, the first chapter, in verse 21, She shall bring forth a son. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall save his people from their sin. Amen. And Jesus came into the world for, for that purpose, to bring mankind back into right fellowship with God. Amen. The word of God is right all by itself. I know sometimes it gets tight. Amen. But we have to say yes, Lord, to your will and to your way. Amen. Amen. What more can he do? The Bible says uh, uh, innocent, something innocent without sin had to be sacrificed because the blood of the bullocks and the sheep and the pigeons, all that was not sufficient. And mankind could not deliver us, even though we had some good men in the Old Testament. We had some great men. Abraham, a friend of God. Moses, amen. Oh, my goodness. He walked with God. Amen. He made a comment, Lord, let me see your glory. And God gave Moses a glimpse of his glory. David, a man after God's own heart. Isaiah, amen, one that can see 700 years in the future. So many, Daniel, so many of them. But none of them could pay that price for our redemption. Amen. And God said, I'll go down. Hallelujah. Even though God was on the throne, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to pay the price. Amen. Still on the throne. But Jesus is God, manifest in the flesh. Amen. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. He sent Jesus. Jesus walked this life. And the Bible said, in him was no sin nor a filth found in his mouth. The Bible said that Jesus lived a life, amen, of about 33 years. He tried things. He tasted things. He, he knew what it was like to be tempted. My God, he was tried in the wilderness of three major temptations. And God brought him out. But then he comes the ultimate test. He had to give up his life. And I want to go down to the God that he had sent me. Amen. I'm going to cut across the field, as the country folks say the Bible said Jesus told the disciples after they had the, after they had the last supper, amen, which is what we commemorated communion with. He told them, I'm going away. St. John, the 14th chapter, the first verse, Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. He was letting them know, I'm about to leave here. And the disciples began to be a little worried. Where are you going? What's going on? He said, I didn't come to stay. And the Bible said he went into the garden of Gethsemane. And the Bible said he prayed. He prayed so earnestly, the Bible said, his prayer, the sweat came off Jesus like drops of blood on the open bank. My God. The Bible said he came to the disciples, and, he, and it was late, and they, was, they, they fell asleep. And Jesus told them, go ahead, take your rest. The Bible said he went to God three times. He said, Father, if thou will, take this cup from me. That cup represented the suffering that he was going to go through. He said, take it from me. I know it's going to be hard. He said, take it from me. The Bible said he came back again the third time. Oh, let this cup pass from me. But the third time Jesus prayed, he said, Father, he took his place in eternity when he said, not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. Sometimes in our lives, we got to say, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Amen. My God, he, and right after the, that prayer, the Bible said, here comes Judas is carried. Amen. One of the twelve. And, and betrayed Jesus with a kiss and 30 pieces of silver. The Bible said, Judas, and I know that had to touch his heart. My God. And, the, and, and not only did they bring the Pharisees and the elders, but they brought a small army of men to come arrest Jesus. 
Jesus said, I was with you in the temple. I was teaching in there and preaching there. Why you want to arrest me now? If I, then he said, Jesus got a little bold. In other words, Jesus flexed his muscles for a minute. Did you read the scripture where it said, Jesus said, whom seek ye? They said, we seek Jesus of Nazareth. And then Jesus said, I'm he. And the Bible said, the whole army fell backwards to the ground. Amen. Yes, Jesus flexed for me. All right. Let you know, you ain't come to take me. I came to give my life for you. Right. Hallelujah, what a mighty God be serving. Don't you know that's power in Jesus? Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible said when Jesus gave up the ghost, his, when the, which means he took his last breath, and he said, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabachthani, and he gave up his last breath. Amen. That changed something. The Bible said the earthquake when he gave up the ghost. Sure did. By God, and then, by God, when he was in the cold, cold grave, and on the early morning, that Sunday morning, the resurrection day we call. Amen. The Bible said that stone was moved away. And when they came to look for the body, of Je the body of Jesus, amen, the earth shook again because Jesus got up out there. Well, mighty God be served. Amen. But God did all this for you and I. Every year I talk about the crucifixion. I'm not going to go through the whole thing today. How they beat him, slapped him, blindfolded him, slapped him inside his face. They said, who, who hit you? You, you, the son of God, prophesied who hit you. Amen. Blooded him up, put a crown of thorns on his head. Then they tied him to a post like this over. Amen. With two men on each side with a cat of nine tails, a wooden whip with tips of bone on each end, and whipped him, put him back in his flesh, exposing his, his, his uh, organs, yeah. his muscles, his Everything. tissues. Everything. Amen. Just told his mother. Yes, it is. Uh, and then, after that, they gave him the beam to go take the cross up to God off the hill. The Bible said he was so weak, they called for a man of Cyrene. Cyrene is Africa. Amen. The tip top of Africa, they gave it to him. Amen. He carried the cross. The young black man carried the cross. Amen. So we think about something that Pilate, the governor, said. Oh, let me catch this. I catch this. Pilate was the governor. Hallelujah. Over Jerusalem. He was a Roman. He one gave the sentence for Jesus to be crucified. But he had a word from his wife. His wife said, How have nothing to do with that man? I had a dream. And don't mess with that innocent man. Pilate was kind of perplexed in mind and told the Pharisees and the elders of Jerusalem, What have he done? They made all kinds of accusations, all kinds of uh, false witnesses came up, and Pilate said, I find no fault in the man. He came to him three times, and what has he done? Three times, Pilate said, I find no fault. But because he's the governor of Jerusalem, the people want to start a riot. And Pilate can't have that because his job would be in question. He said, take him away. He said, wait a minute. But there is a clause. Once a year, I can let a prisoner go. Should I release Jesus, or should I release Barabbas? One that started an insurrection, like the ones at the Capitol. Let me get out of that door. <laughs> Amen. He started an insurrection and committed murder. Should I release Barabbas or Jesus? And they said, give us Barabbas and away with Jesus. Mm -mm. So they led him away to be crucified. Mm -hmm. But before they led him away, Paul, Pilate said, give me a bowl of water. I'm going to wash my hands. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to be guilty of condemning. Condemning. Yes, yes, so man. Man. My God, my God. What more? The message is, can he do? And the Bible says that he did all oh, this. God did all this for you and I. So we can have a right to the tree of life. Right. But, but Jesus' death brought us back into right fellowship with God. Yes, it Amen. Did. Amen. We were separated from the commonwealth. We were separated from God. Hallelujah. But Jesus came. Amen. When Jesus gave up, when, I, when Jesus gave his last breath and the earthquake, something else happened. The temple was, was torn to from the top all the way to the bottom. In other words, what that Jesus made a way for all mankind, Amen, to be saved, to come to Him, Amen. And now I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't gonna hold you, Amen. But what more can He do? Amen. The Bible says in First in Second Corinthians five and twenty-one, the Bible says God made Him to be sin for us, for you and me. He made Him to sin. How did He do that? Back in Deuteronomy, it says, they that was hung was a, was a curse. He became a curse. 
He became a sin. There was no sin in Jesus. He became sin for us. Amen. And now we have a right to the tree of life. But the question is, to you and I, what more can he do? You think about somebody that, a child that comes into the world, and their parents give them everything in the, in, that they can for the person to be successful. Amen. They give them the best education. They give them the best uh, food. They give them nurture. They give them security. They give them all these things to be successful in their life. And when that person get up at night and throw it all away and live off the street, what did he done? He just, just didn't appreciate all that his parents has done for him. Amen. And that's what the prodigal son did. That's exactly what he did. Amen. But thank God for mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. Why is that? Because I'm looking at myself. Hallelujah. And I thank God for Jesus. And God is looking at you and I today. God is saying, what more can I do? What more can I do for you to commit to me? To live for me? What more can I do? I gave you my best. I gave you my son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Made in the image of the likeness of God himself. I gave you him. What more can you do? Amen. This is the good life, living for Jesus Christ. This is the best life, mm -hmm. living for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I thank God. Amen. That I don't have to look over my shoulder or what I did last night. I don't have to sneak in to the back door at home when I come home from work. Amen. A free life. Hallelujah to God. To live for God. Hallelujah. Everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the best thing, amen, is to have eternal life. Yeah. Hallelujah. To have eternal life with Jesus Christ, my Lord. One day this world is going to be done away with. All this is going to be passed away. All our education, all the things that we do, our saving, all that stuff is going to be done away with. Is our soul right with God. That's the only thing that will matter. Is our soul right with God? Amen. There's a right way and there's a wrong way. There's a heaven and there's a hell. Amen. Amen. Jesus told Nicodemus, Jesus, these are the words of Jesus Christ himself, himself. You must be born again. You must absolutely be born again. He's opened up the way. All we got to do is walk into that light. Amen. To receive Jesus Christ. Do you believe Jesus Christ on today? Do you believe that he is the Son of God? Do you believe that he is the one that paid the price for our redemption? I believe. Amen. And sometimes I just think about it as I go throughout the day. And sometimes I just make a confession of faith to myself. Amen. I, I, I believe in God. Amen. I believe in God's love for me. Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is God's love for me. Mm -hmm. I believe Jesus Christ died to save me. Amen. I believe God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. I believe Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior over my life. Mm -hmm. And for the rest of my life, I'm going to serve him. Amen. And I believe one thing, he's coming back again. <laughs> Hallelujah, he's coming back again. He's coming back to a church with our spot and with our rental. He's coming back to a church that believes in the living God. He's coming back to a church that appreciates Jesus Christ dying on the cross for the sins of all mankind. See, we can, we, we, we can play with God if we want, but God is nothing to play with. The Bible says God is a consuming fire. Amen? Amen. My father used to say it's better to play with a rattlesnake than to play with God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of them sayings keep coming back. I'm talking to some of them old sayings of the old preachers of yesterday. Yes, sir. But the next little day is, yes, what more can he do? Amen. Now I'm going to put the question to you. Audience, in the house of the Lord, on YouTube and in Facebook, what more do you want God to do for you? What more do you want God to do for you, for you to say, yes, Lord, to your will and to your way? You have tried other things for a long time. It's time to make the right choice. It ain't no one choice. And that's to give it over to God. Amen. We can, we can search all over. We can search the, the, the history books. We can search astronomy. We can search all these different things. But it all come back down to there is only one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God who's far of all, above all, and through all, and in you all. We all go back to the creator. The creator.
creator of everything. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Amen? Amen. It all comes back to God. Mm -hmm. Who gave us life? God. We were made in the image and likeness of God. He is the giver of life. We all here today are only one heartbeat from death. Amen. One heartbeat. Your heart beat approximately 60 times a, a minute. About every second. Mm -hmm. one, one heart beat away. Is it well with your soul? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to hear that voice say, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. I know for a fact if you have heard of the Lord, if you have tasted of the Lord, something is knocking on the door of your heart. The Bible says, God, God said in his word, my word will not return void. It's going to accomplish something God is stirring up on today. How it is time for somebody to say yes, Lord, to your will and to your way. Stop beating your head upside the wall. You're not getting nowhere like that. Why? Because you're doing the same thing, thinking you're going to get better results. You've got to make a change. We have to make a change if we want different results. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 Hallelujah to God. Amen. Y'all took a piece of message a couple of months ago, but they still stick with me. If you want to change, you got to do something different. And he looked right at me. I said, Lord, he preaching to me. <laughs> but it stirred me up. It stirred me up, and I lost 12 pounds. Oh, God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If you want something different, you got to make a change. That's right. Are you satisfied with the road that you are going? You are satisfied on the road that you're traveling? If you are, stay on that road. But if you want another road, if you want a street called straight, follow the road that Paul said. I'm going down the road where the Lord Jesus is. When God knocked Paul off that horse, he said, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? He said, who art thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus whom thou persecuted. It is hard to kick against me. Paul was kicking against the church, putting the believers in prison. But God, let me tell you something. The old son said, God got your number, and he know where you live. Hallelujah. Okay. Bible will say, yes, Lord. To your will and to your way. Amen. That's all I have for you today Amen. on this Resurrection Sunday. What more can he do? When Jesus was about the age, I believe, was 12 years old, the Bible said, it's time for me to be about my father's business. So if you're 12 years old or older, this is me saying that. This is not my, uh, not my organization or nobody else telling me that. This is something I say. you 12 years old, you need to start making up your mind. Amen. What you going to do in life? It's just me saying that. Amen. But those of us who are saved, stay with God. Amen. There's, a, there's a teacher that's going around and says, once saved, always saved. Uh, that's, that's inclusive to me. Once saved, always saved. If you stay saved, mm -hmm. you got a part to do too. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. You got a part to do too. Yeah. You got to stay with God. Yes. Some well-known teachers in the, in, 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 on television, they say no matter what you do afterwards after that, it's okay in the last day. I don't agree with that. The Bible says, by their fruit, you shall know them. That's, that's what I believe. So I'm going to ask you today, as we close out, if you want to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, I know some of you ain't going to like that some from my old background, but I ain't worried about the old background. I, 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 I'm trying to help people get to know Jesus. Amen. As I said, my little confession of faith, I want to ask you today. If you want to, I want to, I want to read to you again. And if you want to, say it with me. Repeat it after me with all your heart, mind and soul. Amen. A confession of faith. Amen. I believe in God. I believe in God's love for me. I believe Jesus Christ is God's love for me. I believe Jesus Christ died to save us. I believe God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. I, be, I received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior over my life. And for the rest of my life, hallelujah, I will serve you. And I believe you coming back again. Give God a hand, please. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. And that's not all of it. I do believe in baptism and water. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. 
Amen. That's just a start to confession. Amen. But continue on. If you haven't been baptized, you have not completed. Amen. Because baptism represents your confession to the world. Amen. That I am a child of God. Amen. Some people got this thing fixed in their own way. But the only way is Jesus' way. Amen. John 14 and 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. I know in the past year, in the past 12 months, we've had so many people start their own little ministries on Facebook and, and YouTube, and, that, and that's fine. Amen. But stay with the Word of God. Stay with the Word of God. We don't believe in greasy grace. Amen. 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 There ain't no slippery slope in this thing. Amen. The way of transgression is hard, but Jesus said, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. Amen. When you say, my yoke is easy, it takes two to pull a yoke. That means you cast your cares on him, and then he'll pull along with you. Some of y'all trying to handle too many things by yourself, and you're not successful with it. But yoke up with Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. May God bless you today. I love you, and I want the best for you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen.